At the beginning of this year, the iPhone from Apple is just 10 years old. Indeed, the original iPhone has been unveiled by Steve Jobs on January 9th in 27. It was the start of one of the biggest success stories in the industry. Ten years later, more than one billion of iPhones have been sold through the world. In this video, we offer you to discover the evolution of the iPhone through the last decade, from the original iPhone to the upcoming iPhone 8 expected in the fall of 2017. Since its launch in 27, the iPhone has known a big evolution. The most impressive thing is probably the number of iPhones sold by Apple. It has started from 1 million the first year in 27 to have, peak, to have a peak at 240 million in 2015. It's really awesome. The original iPhone has been launched in 27. It was also called iPhone 2J because it had not 3J connectivity. It was based on the mysterious purple project started in 24. The original iPhone had a 3.5 inch screen with a 408 by 320 resolution for 163 pixels per inch. It featured also a 412 MHz IRM processor. It had many limitations and drawbacks, but it was a big success. The iPhone 3J was launched one year later. It was largely identical to the original iPhone but with slimmer metallic outer edging and the addition of 3J connectivity. A lot of BlackBerry users left their phone to buy an iPhone 3J. Launched in 29, The iPhone 3GS had a similar design to the 3G, but it came with a faster 600 MHz IRM A8 CPU. It also doubled the RAM at 256 GB and added a fingerprint resistant screen coating. New features added like the compass and voice control made it easier to use. Always some limitation, but it was a pleasure to use. One year later, Apple launched the iPhone 4. It was a smartphone where design and power really jumped up with a 3.5 inch 960 by 480 resolution screen for 326 pixels per inch. The iPhone 4 featured the Apple A4 processor using A8 smart clocked at 800 MHz processor. The most significant step of the iPhone 4 was the inclusion of an higher specification screen. Combined to a faster processor, it meant what it was possible to capture and play back HD content from the new 5 megapixel camera. In 2011, the iPhone 4S was much alike to the iPhone 4. The addition of a dual score also running at 800 MHz was the biggest addition. It was one of the best smartphones of the market alongside the App Store and the large number of applications available. But it had some lacks of connectivity, like the no NFC support, for example. With the iPhone 5 launch in 2012, Another jump was made by Apple with a larger 4-inch display. It was running 1136 by 640 pixel resolution for 326 pixels per inch. It doubled the RAM at 1 GB and a 1.3 GHz Core A6 processor. The iPhone 5 was extremely polished and well built as a smartphone. A major success for Apple. Launched in 2013, the iPhone 5C was basically the same as the iPhone 5 but with a cheaper plastic build. The iPhone 5C is a lovely phone that is solid in its performance and playful in its approach. 
It was not a flagship product since the iPhone 5S was made for that. But it was a solution to offer a mid-range offering for Apple in face of Android devices like the Motorola X and the Nexus 4, for example. Big success in the world for the iPhone 5C. No change in screen size for the iPhone 5S, but a bump to 1 GB of DDRM3 RAM rather than DDRM2. It also featured a 64-bit 1.3 GHz dual-core A7 processor. Like all the other Apple S devices, it was just to bring some refinements and improvements, not more. Launched in 2014, the iPhone 6 was another big gem for Apple. Big jump in size with a 4.7 inch 1334 by 640 pixel screen with 326 pixel per inch. It featured also a 64 bit dual core A8 running at 1.4 GHz. All the features you will find in the iPhone 6 can be found elsewhere in the Android or Windows Phone world, but not always in such a fluid and easy to use way. The larger screen was also asked by iPhone users since a long time. It explains the big success of this model. In the same year, the iPhone 6 Plus was launched and was the same as the iPhone 6 largely, except for a bigger 5.5 inch screen with 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution for 401 pixel per inch. Besides, it had a larger 2915 mAh battery to keep it running. The iPhone 6 Plus is certainly one for the power users and certainly one for those looking for big screen experience. However, some users want it too big overall. An iPhone S update here usually means a couple of new features that most people could take or leave, but the iPhone 6S is the most exciting S model for a long time. The iPhone 6S improved battery life and enhanced camera. The addition of live photos, 4K video, and improvement of Siri were also very interesting for the user. Also in 2015, the iPhone 6X Plus was just like the original and sees notable advantages from the 3D touch integration. But it suffered always from the same problem as the iPhone 6S. The iPhone 6S Plus was too big. In early 2016, Apple launched the iPhone SE. It was a great smartphone that brings plenty of power in a small package with a 4.0 small package. The power of an iPhone 6 with the size of an iPhone 5. A lot of users like it for these reasons. Later in 2016, Apple has launched the iPhone 7. It was not the, the overall that Apple usually presented us with every two years, but it was enough for a lot of Apple fans to upgrade from the iPhone 6. The removal of the 3.5mm headphone jack was briefly controversial. For Tim Cook, it was simply the best iPhone ever made by Apple. Not impossible, but just by a thin margin. Of the, two, of the two new iPhone 7 devices announced in September 2016, the iPhone 7 Plus certainly got the most new features, making it the more interesting to upgrade from the iPhone 6 Plus or the iPhone 6 S Plus. The biggest change was with the cameras and the 2x optical zoom functionality was welcomed. 
However, as said previously about the plus range, the big and heavy device that would divide opinion because of its wide, wide body. It is, a so it is a choice to make. In 2017, all heads had turned, had turned for the launch of the next iPhone. In September, Apple should announce the next iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. Expected features are an OLED display, a faster A11 processor, a glass body, an edge-to-edge -edge display, camera and touch ID integrated directly in the display, no home button, wireless charging, and many other awesome features. The new iPhone may be sold alongside upgraded but standard 4.7 and 5.5 inch screens. Wait and see during the 2017 year. What do you think about the evolution of the iPhone during this last decade? Tell me in comments about the success of the iPhone by Apple.